Hi, I'm James Quirk for Inkish TV. We're reporting from Label Expo Americas 2024 in Chicago, and I'm at the stand of Style Packaging Coatings, uh, talking to Paul G, who is the director for packaging coatings for the company. First of all, I've introduced you as Paul G, and, and that needs a bit of explanation. Um, I asked you how to pronounce your surname, and I and I was struggling with it. But you're known as Paul G by everyone. You tell exactly. me exactly. I'm known as Paul G. My name is Paul Gibialuha. I am from Stall Packaging Coatings. Uh, we are a worldwide leader in the packaging coatings segment. Uh, we we sell all over the world, including Mexico, United States, UK, uh, Europe, all through Europe, all through Asia. And your manufacturing, is that all here in, in the United States? No, we have multiple manufacturing facilities. We have manufacturing facilities in US, Mexico, Netherlands. Uh, we also have it in India. And we're starting up facilities in Brazil and in, in uh, China. Fantastic. So could you tell me a little bit about the products that you produce? Which markets do you serve? Who do you sell to? Sure. We sell to mostly uh, OEM final uh, packaging producers. These products are everyday coatings that you would see in a uh, supermarket. So probably 70% of the stuff that you touch in the supermarket has one of our types of coatings on it. Fantastic. And you're selling obviously to label converters as well, which is why you're here exhibiting at Label Expo Americas. Is that an important market for you as well? Label is a big segment for us, uh, high-end labels especially, where you want some specialties and some glitter and some special effects, tactile feelings, special senses that you're talking about. Uh, all the label guys like to buy from us. We have a rough road coating that as the coating goes through boxes, you don't want to have those high end labels uh, scuff in a box. Sure. So because those are expensive products, uh, they love our products because they last. So high end applications. So what are we talking about? Kind of uh, high end food applications, beverage, Food, beverage, uh, wine labels. Uh, so every type of label you could think of around yeah. that, as well as all kinds of uh, food packaging is, is our specialty. So I, I, I suppose that sustainability is obviously, uh, given the, the markets that you're in and the products that you produce, sustainability is, is I imagine, a, a huge focus. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what products you're uh, showing here and are there any new developments uh, in this area in particular? Yeah, sustainability is a big deal for Stahl, who is our new owner from the last year and a half. They are Platinum Equal Valdez customer. So for us, producing sustainable products in the industry, and really, if you could think about it, we're trying to save the fibers, save the trees of, the, of our world. The newest thing that we're launching at the coating show today, which is a great product because if you know the, the uh, for example, the coffee cup industry, 90% uh, of the coffee cups are not recycled because they have a film inside of them. They're very costly and timely to do those recut cycles. So we've got a new product that we've put, put on the market. It's repulpable. 99.3% of the fibers get back into the, the system. And you don't need the film because we put the coating on the inside of the, the cup as well as we seal the cup on the bottom and on the sides with the coating itself. And this is a new development being launched here at the show. It's a brand new development and it's it's brand new for the world and it's it's an exciting product. We've got a lot of demand and people that are stopping by. It's a hot buzz with the, the barrier tech and the products. I bet a, a potentially so. enormous uh, sort of amount of uh, business that could be had in, you know, it's an enormous sector, isn't it? It is. Enormous and it's always sector. frustrating coffee cups not being recyclable and so many people assume that they are. Yes. Uh, and are unaware of the, 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 the plastic liner. Yes, it is. And, and we're, we're right now launching with different customers. We are tr doing the trial phases and we should be out on the market that people would, could actually drink out of these cups within a matter of months. Fantastic. And do you find that um, the sort of desire within the label sector or the package, wider packaging industry for more sustainable materials, is that being driven uh, by your customer, your converter customers, or is it coming more from their customers, the end users, or is it a bit of both? I think it's both because it, everybody wants to be more green and responsible in, in the world today. People don't like to see the trash that's in our oceans and everywhere else. So they're looking for people in the supply chain to be responsible and come up with solutions that help make that product more recyclable, easier to recycle and uh, you know, save the trees of the world as well as not have as much plastic out there. And we're obviously here the first morning of the show. The show opened only recently. What are your expectations for, for this week? 
you know, it's been a great morning already. There's been a buzz because we put it out there today, you know, on uh, LinkedIn that we were come on by and see the first coffee cup that uh, without, you, you know, recyclable, full recyclable coffee cup uh, material. So it's been exciting to see the customer response. Uh, we've had many that are, you know, want to do partnerships already. So we feel good about it. We, the show has been a lot of people that's come around. Uh, we've had high attendance uh, to the show. We're always busy, which is a great, great thing. And we, we like to see that. Brilliant. Well, Paul, thank you very much for talking to us and hope you have a, a great rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.